So, uh, well, as you all know, the GNR Rechagon is triggered. It uh, was a very, very useful tool in order to virtually uh, eliminate the OHSS uh, risk, the risk for ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. However, in my talk, I'm going to present some additional data showing additional benefits also from this strategy. So in the first part of the presentation, I'm going to provide the basics, the pharmacodynamics of the agonist trigger. After that, I'm going to try to uh, add some more information, perhaps showing some improvement in the cause and chill, the quality of the eggs, and also perhaps improvement in the embryo quality. Also, I'm going to comment on the use of uh, use of this agonist trigger, for example, in challenging cases such as the empty follicle syndrome and the immature homocyte syndrome. And a couple of slides to show the incidence uh, of the agonist trigger uh, approach in order to decrease the incidence of, also of life-threatening conditions such as the ovarian torsion. And in the final part of my presentation, I'm going to talk about these new protocols in which uh, the agonist trigger approach has uh, played a pivotal role. So, um, at the end of my presentation, my goal is to, well, to, to try to provide some information uh, showing that beyond OHSS, the agonist trigger has additional 